Hey guys, it's Ed here from Detect Dead Metal Detecting. I've got here an accessory that every detectorist needs. It's one that we designed specifically for land and sea use, and it's called the Detect Dead Treasure Pouch 2.0. Hey guys, we've got the Treasure Pouch 2.0 on the bench here. As I mentioned before, this is a land and sea pouch, which means that it can handle salt water. And the way it does that is, firstly, it's made out of a ballistic nylon material, which is really tough. It handles salt water in and out, no worries. We've got a mesh drainage system down here. So this is a tough rubberized mesh and water and sand can drain out of it quite easily if it does enter there. So you can put your finds in the top or any of these pouches and all the water will drain out along with sand as well. Now for the zippers, we specifically source these plastic high quality zippers, which travel smoothly and can handle sand and stuff. And they obviously won't rust being plastic. We've got these little pullers on here. These are just nylon and essentially makes it a lot easier to find if it is dark or if you're trying to focus on other things, if you've got goggles on underwater. You often can't see the pouch, but you can feel these and open them and just shove something in there really easily. On your left side, you have a little stainless eyelet and you can hook on your pinpointer or other accessories on there. And we did actually make the treasure pouch 2.0 a bit longer so that you can fit a full sized uh, pinpointer in here if you don't have a holster for it. But if you do have a holster, you can just hook it onto the belt here. Now you'll notice that we do have two separate zippers because we have two separate compartments. This first one here is the main compartment and goes the full length down to the bottom here. And that's the larger compartment for most of your trash. On the other hand, you actually have this second compartment which only goes down to here and it's completely separated. We did that because when you do put more delicate things, some delicate coins and gold jewelry or some jewelry, it's very easily broken because it's been in the water so long. And we want to keep it separate from our sinkers which are going to be in the main pouch here. Now. In this second pouch, we also have a little carabiner so we can hook our rings on here too. For the belt, we're using a strong nylon webbing. This nylon belt can be adjusted, as you can see with this little buckle here. And actually, there's a lot out there now, and we've never had a single email or call or anyone message us about it being too small or too large. At the end of the day, this land and sea pouch is perfect for everyone, whether you're coin hunting at the beach or any kind of detecting. This will stop your pockets getting dirty. It'll drain everything out, and it's quite tough as well. We really recommend that anyone, any size, anywhere can use this pouch and it's a really tough, reliable pouch as well. Thanks for listening to my overview of the Treasure Pouch 2.0. If you've got any questions about it, as always, just feel free to contact us at Detected Metal Detecting. Happy hunting, guys. I'll catch you around.